national group known as FALN. The group is linked to a series of bombings in this country in the 1970s and 80s. The White House insists clemency petitions were granted in response to requests by dozens of members of Congress, but critics say they are related to the Senate race in New York. Our chief political correspondent, Jack Conte, joins us now with more. Robin Walter, law enforcement officials from the Justice Department to the FBI and the New York City Police Department say it's a mistake and will lead to more violence. And in and out of New York, some critics see the heavy hand of domestic politics behind all of this and point a finger at Hillary Clinton. It has been a volatile issue for many in Puerto Rico for years, and yesterday's Independence Parade was further proof the move for Puerto Rican independence is still very much alive and well on the island. Here in the United States, however, there have been scores of terrorist bombings in the name of that cause in the 70s and 80s. And 16 Puerto Rican nationalists have been behind bars for almost 20 years after being linked to those crimes. Marcos Vilar is a Chicago-based Puerto Rican activist working for the prisoners' release. At issue here is, a, I, I think, is a fairness issue and a human rights issue. We have uh, some prisoners who've been sentenced uh, to incredibly long sentences, and none of them have been, were, were convicted of violent uh, acts such as causing death or injury to anyone. But in New York City, where four cops were maimed in FALN bombings, that argument is moot. Are we going to give clemency to Osama bin Laden? Are we going to give uh, clemency to the people who blew up the uh, building in Oklahoma? I mean, it's outrageous. What some consider outrageous is the suggestion that it may all be very political, a move by the Clinton White House to bolster Hillary Clinton's senatorial bid by wooing the large Puerto Rican vote in New York City. Further complicating all this now is a report based on unconfirmed leaks to Newsweek magazine that the prisoners involved were taped in prison, still threatening violence if they are released. Ellie Escobar, son of one of those prisoners, story is wrong. I don't know what they talked about on the phone, but as far as what my father has told me, uh, they don't have any problem with renouncing violence. It is clearly a very sensitive issue in and out of the Puerto Rican community, and so far the prisoners have not accepted all the conditions set down by the White House, including one demanding they part company now with the independence movement on the island.